Okay, so um, today we're going to be doing a temporary channel, and um, we're going to cre also create a man that create a command that deletes a channel that is passed in after a certain amount of time. This is like really useful for a lot of different things. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just the one writing the code. You use it for what you want to use it for. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. So we're going to start off with temporary channel. And um, I think we need to do channel name. Then we pass in the amount of time. So we're going to make a time argument. Um, right yeah that should be good um channel name actually i'll do this i'll put time first then i'll do this right um what's basically happening here is let's say i want to put a space in in the channel name when i'm writing it on discord um, this will make me able to, like, I, I don't even want to explain this right now. Just, just watch carefully. Um, and yeah. Um, so first off, what we want the command to do is check to see if the person actually has the perms to use this in the first place. Right? But before we write the perms, let's go ahead and make an embed. Um, Discord. Embed. Um, we're gonna make the title success. Um, okay, yeah, it's success. Um, description this equals f string this channel will be deleted in time minutes now um you would want to mention that that stuff like this is gonna happen so they know what they're getting themselves into when they invoke a command um you always want to have stuff like this set up and being sent once the command is invoked by somebody ctx.guild. Uh, permissions now this isn't the only way to write permissions but that's the way i do it you can do it another way i'm not gonna get into that do what you want <laughs> i don't really care um cc executive uh no manage channels is this the way to do it i literally forgot bro is it this? Oh my, I'm so rusty, hold on. Okay, so I was right, but I just needed to add author here. Because we are talking about the the message offer. Uh, the invoker of the command. So, now that we checked to see if they have the permissions, um, let's go ahead and... Uh, Wait. Uh, guild dot create uh, text channel name equals channel name. So when somebody passes in the channel name on the Discord chat, so what you would do is tc the the prefix, then tc. You pass in the amount of time and then you pass in the channel name 
and what that would do is go into here and uh, give the give the bot a name to give the channel when it's created if that makes any sense um, so now we're going to okay await channel dot delete now we want to delete the channel right but before we do that what we're gonna what we're gonna do is await Asyncio. Now you want to import Asyncio. I'm sure you have all the imports ready for th everything we've done so far. But as for Asyncio, Asyncio, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, just make sure you have, you you've imported that. Um, Asyncio dot sleep. Uh, you could also do from Asyncio import sleep, but and then just put sleep here. But I'm just gonna do this. Um, now what we're gonna do is 60. The first number that is passed in here is the amount of seconds. Um, and we're gonna multiply 60 seconds with the amount of time. So what that's gonna do is basically, let's say somebody puts, let's say somebody puts free, free, free here. So they put C TC free and they want the channel name to be like temporary channel so tc free temporary channel and free would go over here and uh that would be three minutes because it's free times 60 seconds uh, because everything inside here is seconds um that's how uh that's how it works here I think that's how it is every time, unless you like multiply it to make it into minutes or hours or something. But anyways, um, and multiplying it is very easy, so there's it's not really a big deal. But uh, I'm gonna put time over here, so whenever somebody, you know, whenever somebody, uh, hold on, I might need to. I think I'll put I'll make this an integer. Um and yeah that's it to be honest. That's it. Um we're gonna speed through the delete channel command. Okay, so let's speed through this. Um, it's a temporary channel. Well, no, it's not a temporary channel. Let's say you you already have an existing channel, right? Let's say you want to delete uh, general, but you don't want to delete it right away. For whatever reason, you want to delete it after maybe like ten minutes, because you know you you know for whatever reason. Okay. Um, what this command is is basically you're gonna do this dc hashtag general and let's say you put 10 10 10 right here so 10 is 10 stands for 10 minutes general will be deleted in 10 minutes this is what we're gonna do basically so um let's get into that right here so the function ctx uh, uh, channel discord dot text ah oh, shit I think I might hold on All right, so I'm finally back. Um, I'm gonna keep this very simple. I was trying to mix in a little bit of, you know, something to make the command a bit more useful, but scrap that. 
I, I really don't. I don't I don't even know what I was doing so we're gonna stick with this if you want the voice channel to be temporary instead of a text channel then um you can either switch this with voice channel right here or you could switch this with where is it oh voice channel right we're gonna keep it as text channel though because that's what we're doing today you can just create separate separate commands for the voice ones. What am I doing? Text. Separate commands for the the voice ones. Yeah. Um, asyncio. I think I did asyncio before. So if you have asyncio, then make it asyncio. I o. Asyncio. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um. Yeah, make sure your code looks like this. Um, you probably don't need to have int there, but just in case, uh, I specified. Anyways, um, oh shit. Hold on. Okay, so for some reason I forgot like a dumbass. Um, you're actually supposed to get the channel, right? So, if you think about it technically, once this is created, once this line is ran through, the bot should technically be able to uh, get the channel, right? So we're gonna create a channel variable. Channel equals get uh, from Discord utils import get. Uh, make sure you have this and it should work. Or you could do discord.utils.get, but that's just tedious and you know you want to be part of the cool kids and use get. So um, we're gonna do ctx.guild.channels. We're gonna go through that and then we're gonna name name equals channel name so do you get what I'm do you get what I'm doing right now it's gonna get the channel then it's gonna delete it because it's already created once this is so this is this is a, a valid a valid variable if you think about it but anyways, you're not, we're not going to get into that. Um, um, if you use your logic, then it should look fine to you. Um, we still have a problem. Oh, we need to send a message. I'm going to... I'll put it here. No, 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 no. I'll put it... Put it here. Await ctx dot send. Um. Embed equals embed, and that should be good. As for this, delete channel. Wait, I'm not gonna make, it, make an embed because I'm really lazy right now and I have something to go to soon. But await um, ctx.send. We'll make it a string. Uh, this channel will be deleted. Oh. Already existing channel will be deleted in time minutes. Right? Okay. 
Now you can make you can make a cooldown for this this command if you want because of rate limits and stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna get into that, um, but you can you can add a cooldown to it if you want. I'm not gonna add a cooldown. As I've said before, I'm a pretty lazy person, so here's your command. Um, if you're aware that you can, uh, if you're aware that you can, okay, end of video. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what I was gonna say, but uh, hopefully I helped you. And yeah, not not gonna test out the stuff, but. It should work. If you have any problems with this, then just go to my Discord server. It's it's in the description. And yeah, if you have any errors, just just contact me on there. That's that's all.